Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Wheelis, Professor in Chief of Pediatric Neurology at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center, and I'm co director of the Lebonner Children's Hospital Tuber Sclerosis Center of Excellence. Today, I wanted to discuss a couple of common questions that we often get from our patients with tuber sclerosis complex about the use of cannabidiol or CBD in treating their seizures. The first question I often get is, what is cannabidiol or CBD? So CBD comes from the cannabis sativa plant. This is the same plant where the most common ingredient is THC or marijuana. That's why it's often referred to as the marijuana plant. THC is the component that people actively have tried to get historically because it made them feel good or high or had the euphoric effect. Cannabidiol, or CBD, is the second most common chemical from that plant, but it has none of those properties. It doesn't make people feel high. It doesn't have a euphoric effect. But it can help seizures associated with tuber sclerosis complex. All of the CBD that's available now in the United States is derived from the plant. There is a way to make the same chemicals synthetically or man-made, and that may be available in the future. The second question I often get is, why are there so many cannabidiol or CBD products? Or sometimes it's asked a different way, which is, which product do I use? So let me just separate all the products into kind of two big categories. So the first are FDA, or Food and Drug Administration, approved products. Those are our prescription products, and then all the other ones. Let me start with the FDA products first. So the Food and Drug Administration regulates all of our prescription medications, whether they're for epilepsy, asthma, high blood pressure, diabetes. Their job is to make sure that when I go to the pharmacy to refill my medicine, that that medicine is the same every month, that has the same amount of medicine in it, that it's safe for me to take. There's nothing else in it, just that medicine, uh, and that it's pure. There's no other ingredients in there that I wouldn't want to take or I wouldn't want my loved ones to take because they're not supposed to be in there. So they're highly regulated, but that's done to make them safe for us as consumers. The other cannabidiol or CBD products that you see out there fall into kind of two categories. The first category is ones that you may see on the shelf in your local grocery store, uh, beauty shop, uh, or even purchase over the internet that have the letters CBD in the name or may say cannabidiol on the label. Most of those have very very low amounts, just trace amounts of CBD in them, just enough to have the name on it, but usually not enough to treat seizures associated with tuber sclerosis complex. The other type that you can get that's not FDA approved is what's found at dispensaries. And dispensaries exist in states that have medical marijuana that's legal, and they dispense both marijuana and separately CBD from the dispensary. While that may have CBD in it, the challenge is that based on their plant source from month to month, the amount may vary. So if it's working for you one month to treat your seizures, it may not the next month just because the content is varied and there's no way to know how much you're really getting month to month. And unfortunately, they can sometimes have other impurities that since they're not regulated by the FDA, wouldn't exist in an FDA product. So for our patients with seizures, we really tell them the best way to use CBD or cannabidiol to treat their seizures associated with tuber sclerosis complex is to use the FDA approved product. It's the safest and most consistent treatment for them. Thank you for listening to this. I hope this has been helpful to you in understanding cannabidiol and its use in treatment of epilepsy associated with tuber sclerosis complex.